After 22 years of following Jesus Christ, being born again Christian, and diligently following Christ, I found these facts to be true. Ultimately, we need to become 100% obedient to the voice of God and to the Word of God, the written Word of God, and the voice of the Holy Spirit. Wherever you do not obey, God will chastise you, and the punishment will be pretty severe, pretty harsh. The more you become closer to God in your walk, God wants perfect obedience unto His Word. And it is written in His Word. He told Abraham, Be ye perfect. Walk perfectly before me. And He told in Matthew 5, 48, Be therefore perfect. As even as your Father, as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Father God is holy, holy, holy. He's mighty and perfect. There is no sin whatsoever. And He calls us to be perfect as just as God is. And how is this possible, you say? Well, two things, with the fear of the Lord, fear of God's punishment, that you can never run away or get away with sins or the words that you speak or whatever you do, you can never get away. God will punish every evil, including look at King David. He was the most beloved, right, at the time. And he was chastised really harsh. Death, death, death of the family. Curses, people chasing him for his life. His concubines being raped. There is no running away. And God was the one who brought all that punishment. It's not just the evil people. God brought the evil people. So you have to understand the fear of the Lord. If you read Revelation, God has a fierce wrath upon this world for whatever they have sown. They reap it. I mean, you could talk about people like in pain for months and in darkness and agonies and the fires and the and the burnings and killings of and, and all kinds of demons just just torturing, torturing, torturing. And to be thrown into hellfire, burning forever and ever and ever. Where the pain never will go away. Suffering will never go away. Torturing will never go away. You, if you do not understand the fear of the Lord, free, 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 free like a bird. Listen, you're only free in Christ. Freedom is actually very dangerous. You see, so much freedom nowadays just want to make all kinds of people free, right? Look, it's very, very dangerous to be free. Why? Because we are very sinful. We are prone to sin. Our eyes are the gates to our soul. It's called ayin. It's connected like a Y into your heart. Whatever you keep on watching, whatever you keep on seeing, will make you want it. Whatever you keep on looking at, material or girls or guys, you keep on opening your eyes to look at it, it will entice your heart and it will create desire in your heart. And you ultimately want it. You will ultimately fall like Eve has fallen. You should not look at it. Do not gaze upon. Do not look anything. Put Abstain from all appearance of evil, guys. We really need to fear the Lord and do that. If you want to get away from any sins and be perfectly work, walking in the Lord, eyes have the ability to close and to turn away and to look something else. Close your eyes or turn your face away. Look something else. Seriously, because the more you gaze upon, you're going to create desire and then you're going to fall into sin. You need to meditate on the law of the Lord. It's not just the Word of God. I mean, the law comes from the Word of God. But you know, there are many laws that Jesus Christ said, right? In Matthew 5 and 6, 7. Meditate on it. Think about it deeply and practice it. The law of love and the law of really loving your neighbor as yourself. What is that really? It's explained to the teeth. And Jesus says, hey, if your hand causes sin, cut it off. It's better for you to just lose it than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And he said, you or your body. It was talking to believers, not talking to unbelievers. They were talking to Jews, those who believed in Jesus Christ, those who believed in Abraham, those who believed in the Messiah. He's like, cut it off. Would you rather be thrown into hellfire? Fear the Lord God. We really need to fear the Lord God. And it comes from hearkening unto God's voice. Deuteronomy 28 says, If you hearken, you mean carefully always trying to listen to God, ask for His opinion on almost everything. Should I say this, Lord? Should I speak to him this? Practice. I mean, practice makes perfect. Practice everything from the moment you wake up from the, till the moment you say, should I be sleeping? Should I, what, what would you like me to do, Lord Holy Spirit? When do you like me to wake up? What would you like me to do now? And the Lord Holy Spirit will tell you. Pray. Um, should I pray in words or in tongues? And God, will, God tells me, pray in tongues, pray in words, read the word, preach the message, uh, do this and do this. And I'll ask even like detailed things. I think, the more you walk with Christ, when you're young, Jesus said to Peter, when you're young, he did whatever you wanted to do. God does not require this to like baby Christian. But as you get older and older, somebody is going to put a chain 
and you'll go to those places where you do not wish to go, that you do not want to go. You'll be truly a prisoner of Jesus Christ, like Paul, a bond slave, slave of Jesus Christ. Slave have no free will. And Paul said, I'm a bond slave of Jesus Christ. Why? Because free, freedom is dangerous. I'm, these days, I'm almost afraid to be too free. Why is that? Why am I too afraid? Because when I was free, I was like, I can do whatever I do. I get into trouble. I get into accidents. I get into problems. And God punishes. Wherever I didn't obey the word of God, whether I got hasty, I'll make a lot of mistake and a lot of waste, all right, according to the word of God. When I become not meek, not gentle, it's all coming from the pride, my own pride. When I become haughty, angry at people, jealous at people, hateful, whichever way, I've experienced the punishment of God, the chastising of God. And chastisement is literally suffering of your heart, of your mind, of real situations, okay? It really, God will treat you like a son. He'll treat you like just as he treated Job, King David, Abraham. To Abraham, he said, look, give me your son. You ask, the thing that you mostly love, give it to me. Or he will take it away. If you do not give, if you do not obey, you will suffer the consequence. You can never run away from God and get away. Oh, you know, I don't want to forget. I want to just want to forget. I want to live comfortably, whatever. Then you'll end up in hell. You can never run away from God. Do you not understand? So it's a complete obedience. It's something that we need to come in place of in our heart to truly obey the voice of the Lord. Or I'm telling you, you will suffer. Pain will come. Oh, you think, why does bad things happen to me? Why does bad thing? Because you're bad, okay? If, you, if you're if you truly following the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Father God, nothing can bad can happen to you. You'll be blessed when you go out. You'll be blessed, blessed. If you hearken unto God's voice. Now, why was Job punished so much? Job was like the most righteous guy. He probably had almost no sin, almost. Of course, there was, he, he didn't really take care of his children that well. You can tell his children are parting from Monday through Sunday, right? And uh, that is there. And... Job had, was self-righteous. He was righteous in his own eyes. What does that mean? Self-righteous. Oh, I'm, I'm holy because, man, I'm so you know, I'm so good. Nothing bad can happen. Nothing bad should happen to me. And everything bad happened to Job. Everything bad happened. Even his children, dead. You talk about bad. Like, everything gone. And disease. Okay, his wife gone. Everything gone. Why? Why? To a righteous, holy man. As you become closer and closer to God, God requires pure perfectness. And he wanted 100% humility from Job, which is only required in Job. No, to us, every, everyone, Abraham, Joseph, look at Joseph, you know, he had a dream of God. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, they're all bowing down to me. All my brothers, all oh, the sun and the moon are bowing down to me. You see, you see, I'm so great. You know? He was puffed up a little bit because of the dream. And right away, you know, his brothers sell him as a slave. And he was like a slave for many years and in the jail, suffering, being humble into obedience. Do you not understand? God will put you, you'll be another Joseph, you'll be another Paul, Peter, whoever, whoever. Doesn't matter. Do it doesn't matter who you are. If you're truly a son of God, if God really loves you, he will chastise that. And if you start not listening and forget about this, yeah, God will like leave you alone. But then somewhere down the line in your life, you will reap all the consequences from not obeying God. And you can never run away from that. Never. You think you can just run away from the jail? No, you'll be caught back and you'll be punished for whatever you see. Suffering and pain, death and disease, curses in your life. You can never w run away from it. The wisest thing to do, submit to, obey Jesus Christ. Just, just learn the obedience, complete obedience. Freedom in America, whatever in the world, is not, it's not. You never be free from Christ. You can be free in Christ, in Jesus' law, in God, yeah. God will allow you here and there, you know, give you freedom and blessing, and God will give you your wife, children, husband, whatever, everything. But as long as you're away, out of His way. So three things: please write it down and write it on your wall, so that your eyes may see. Write it with your finger in your hand. Write it. Why? Because there's emotions, you know, written in your handwriting, and it and it's memorable to you. Put it on the wall. Look at it. You can write this down. Hundred percent complete obedience. Hundred percent complete. Humility. I'm nothing. Whatever I can do is by the grace of God. It's by the grace of God. Okay? And number three, hearken unto the voice of the Lord and His written word. Three things. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and keep us in humility. We give you all the praise and glory unto you, Lord Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Holy Spirit. I'm nothing. We are nothing before you. 
we're nothing. You're everything, and we have you, Father God, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. Wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. Lord God, you're truly our Lord, Master, our God. We are sons, your servants, your children. Help us to learn complete obedience, complete humility, and always hearkening, listening to the voice of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Diligently talk to the Holy Spirit and you will hear His voice. He will talk to you. Just keep on asking every little detail. Stop doubting. If you just hear it, start doing it. As long as it's not against the Word of God, it is from God. As long as it's not against the Word of God. Fasting, praying, reading the Word, anything like that. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you.